Welcome back to the channel, my friends. If you haven't seen the last video upload, to quickly recap, I enrolled into the bachelor's degree of applied cybersecurity from SANS Institute, which are nine certifications and an internship for $35,000. So before you can start any classes with SANS Institute, you will sit down and meet with your student advisor who will go over the classes, the exam, the start dates, and the tuition. So let me share my screen and show you guys what that looks like. So here are the required classes and costs for the Bachelors of Applied Cybersecurity with SANS Institute. So the first cost that you have to pay would be $1,300 for security foundations with this GFAC exam certification. And once you knock out that first class, you'll then pay $4,000 and jump into introduction to cybersecurity, take the required exam. And all these classes, they give you eight weeks to study the material and take the exam. So once you're done with that second class, you'll then pay another $1,300 to jump into effective cyber writing and speaking. There is no exam for this. And then you'll go down the list, knock out these core required classes, take the required exam. And then they give you three electives where you can choose to plug in a different class that you may want to study. So down here are the elective options. You can do cyber defense, or you can do cyber defense and pen testing. You can do pen testing and security management, or you can do digital forensics, you can do cloud security, or you can do ICS. And you can mix and match any elective you want, take the required exam, pass the exam, move into the next class. So once you're done with all your electives, you'll jump into an unpaid internship for 20 weeks. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, secret letters, what if I already have a job in the industry and I don't need to do an internship? It doesn't matter. SANS Institute requires that you do an internship at their internet storm center. There's no way of getting around it. If you want the bachelor's degree from them, you have to do this internship. Now you can do a minimum of five hours a week. Now, however long that takes you to get the internship knocked out, I have no idea, but there's no way around it. They won't credit any other company other than their own internet storm center. So let's say you don't have any cybersecurity certifications. You never took any CompTIA exams. You never took any ISC squared exams or EC console exams or offensive security exams like OSCP. You don't have anything and you have just a blank slate. Maybe this bachelor's degree program from SANS Institute would be your best bet because not only will you get a bachelor's degree, you'll get nine certifications as well as an internship. And this was the path I was going to take but we're gonna take a side detour, guys. So let me show you what that looks like. So over here on the cybersecurity skills roadmap, I'm gonna jump straight into incident response and threat hunting, Windows Forensics 500. Take that class, take the exam, and then jump into advanced incident response and threat hunting. Go down the chain to network forensics, and then jump into stage three, which is your crucial skills and specialized roles. So let's not get ahead of ourselves and let's talk about Windows Forensics 500. So the Windows Forensics 500 on demand class is $8,200. The exam is $949. So what are we gonna learn by taking this class for $8,000? We'll be able to perform proper Windows Forensics analysis to detail nearly every action a suspect accomplished on a Windows system, including who placed an artifact on the system and how they did it, program execution, file folder opening, geolocation, browser history, profile USB device usage, cloud storage usage. We'll also learn event log analysis techniques and use them to determine when and how users logged into a Windows system, whether it was via remote session, at the keyboard, 
or simply by unlocking a screensaver. We'll also be able to determine where a crime was committed using registry data and pinpointing the geolocation of a system by examining connected networks and wireless access points. We'll also be able to use browser forensics tools to perform detailed web browser analysis to identify web activity, even if privacy cleaners and in private browsing software are used. But again, if you need your basic foundation, jump into the Bachelors of Applied Cybersecurity and go that route. I'm gonna take you guys from zero to 100 real quick and jump into Windows Forensics. We'll review the syllabus, we'll review the course material, we'll review the exam and all that fun stuff, guys. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe because you won't find this content anywhere else out there on YouTube. So stay tuned guys to the next upload. Hit me up on Discord. Hit me up in the comment section below. And until then, I'll see you out there on the hunt.